Hey guys, it's Matt from Hobby King here, and today we have a video for these two new awesome printers from Turnergy. We have the X3S and the X5S. Now I'm pretty new to 3D printing, but I found these printers easy to put together and very easy to use. Now we've put both of the printers to the test, and they print really well. Now they both have an aluminium frame, a 0.4 millimeter nozzle that goes up to 270 degrees Celsius, a 330 by 330 millimeter bed, and that goes up to 90 degrees Celsius. They both connect through a USB cable and have a micro SD card. They both come with the Repetier and Cura software, and they both have the LCD menu with the rotary knob control with the push button select. Now they're great for printing with PLA, PETG, and ABS. And the X3S, you can actually print TPU because it has the shorter Bowden tube, as long as you're printing at very slow speeds and with no retraction. Now the other areas that these two printers differ in, the X3S, the bed travels in the Y direction, and the extruder travels in the X and Z direction. And the X3S has a print height of 420 millimeters. Now over to the X5S, the extruder travels in the X and Y, and the bed travels in the Z. And this one has a print height of 400 millimeters. Now you'll notice with the X5S, this one has the enclosed frame style. Now this is great because you can put side coverings on it, and that allows you to keep the ambient air temperature inside a lot warmer, and that's really good when printing ABS. Now the other advantage to this style is that the gantries are lighter, and this gives less backlash and overrun, and the head can move faster with less effect on the print. Now as I said, we put these printers through the paces, and I had a lot of fun printing out a variety of examples here. We've got the bowl here with the spiral design, and that was printed in the vase mode, so it's only one layer thick, and I think it turned out really well. And for you plane guys, we've printed out a small A10 model. Now this is just for display, I don't think it'll fly, but feel free to try. And also in the plane category, we've printed out a nice looking jet pilot here. And I'll be excited to see what he looks like with a detailed paint job. And in the spirit of Halloween, we've done the classic jack-o'-lantern with a space inside for a tea light. And we've got a spooky tree here with some hanging pumpkins. So these printers powered through the smaller prints, but in case you're wondering how they go with the larger ones, we printed the Wonder Woman armor. This was done for Comic-Con, and we also did the gauntlets, which is the forearm armor, as well as the upper armbands and the diadem for the forehead. And we actually have a separate video on how we made the Wonder Woman armor and presented it at Comic-Con. So check below in the description, we'll have links to that video, and we'll have links to the X3S and the X5S printers. Now click on those and you'll find even more information on the specs. And don't forget about the Magigoo product. This stuff is freaking awesome. You simply put it out on the bed like a glue stick, and when the bed heats up, it becomes an adhesive, and that makes it great for your print to stick. And then when it finishes and cools down, it becomes a release agent, and your prints pop off. So I don't print without this stuff now. So check that out, we'll have a link for that down below as well. Okay guys, that's the new Turner G X3S and X5S printers. They print really well, and they're lots of fun. Okay guys, I'm Matt from Hobby King. See you next time. See you.